Monster Hunter now is basically Pokemon Go, but instead of going outside catching monsters, you go outside hunting down monsters with a giant weapon. I spent the entire week playing this game, and during that one week, I went on a road trip. So let's start from day one. The journey begins of me customizing my character, and right away I have my first ever battle. Now I live in Miami, Florida. I wonder what's my first ever monster to fight. They have evolved. The Great Dragon is the first monster that I fought. Now how to fight in this game is very simple. It's just like how it is in the raid in Pokemon Go. Tap the screen to attack and swipe left or right to dodge. And also you can dodge forward and backwards. It's just that simple. And just like that, I defeated my very first Great Jaggers. The next objective is to slay three monsters. I mean, that is super easy. I wonder what's wrong in the air. Living in Florida be like. About a minute later, I finished my objective. And I got two rewards. The first reward was me and this hot waifu. The second one was dinner. Day two, I fought Pookie Pookie and grind even more. Day three was basically the same thing. However, day four was the road trip. Now, where I'm heading to is supposed to be one of the most haunted cities in the US. And from Miami to over there, it's about seven hours. Yeah, it's gonna be a long road trip. Four hours later, I start getting hungry. So I stopped by at Bucky's. In all my life living in Florida, I have never once been to Bucky's. Not only is it a gas station, but it's also a superstore. Mine is the jump scare. They also have food drinks, merch, Ugh. dinner. I ended up having the Texas cheesesteak burrito. It was pretty good, 7.2 out of 10. You better sponsor me, Bucky's. After three hours later, I finally reached to my destination. Savannah, Georgia, the most haunted city in America. And the reason for this is because a lot of people have passed away in this very city. The cause of this is either because of war, slavery, the yellow fever pandemic, or natural disasters. Some places are very haunted, like this place right here that we passed by. I ate there. I tried her taco dillas. Am I gonna find anything that's paranormal in this trip? I went to the beach. To fight some monsters, of course. Welcome to Tai B Island, where the beach is mid and a bunch of monsters. Now, if you were wondering, yeah, I'm having fun playing Monster Hunter now. In my opinion, I think this game is as fun as Pokemon Go. But let me know what you think in the comments below. What the fuck? This right here is the Tai B Lighthouse. And yes, you can go to the very top of the lighthouse. Just be prepared for the 178 steps to get up there. I accept the challenge. I went to Japan. This was absolutely nothing. <laughs> it was worth it. And of course, I was fighting some monsters up here. And was I scared? Absolutely, don't actually fight monsters on the- Don't do this, I actually record this on the ground. Afterwards, I went inside this cottage and everything seemed to be fine and normal until I saw this. <laughs> no. I went back to Savannah, did some walking around the city and did some Monster Hunter business. So far, no spooky activity. Well... Day 6 was the last day being in Savannah, so I explore as much as I can around the city. However, before I start hunting down even more monsters... <laughs> finally on day 6, I found another hunter. I waited for the full 5 minutes for this guy to join the fight. Oh boy, I can't wait never to have more down, friends to play this- The hunter didn't join. I was really sad. I went on a tour bus, and then afterwards I got off and went to the cemetery. It is a spooky adventure. It is a must to go to a cemetery. Even Toby wants to be part of this adventure. After exploring the cemetery, I went to the park. And for some odd reason, there were so many Tobys. I mean, I'm not complaining or anything. It's actually perfect. And at the same time, there was a Pokemon Go event, which I wasn't participating because I was doing this video. However, I did get some Pokemon cards. They might be cursed. I said my final goodbyes to Savannah, went to this haunted Waffle House, it might be haunted, I don't know. Went to Orlando to visit and stay with a relative. And then on day 7, I fought Engineer while walking this strange looking Zen Ogre. And there you have it. This video was short, I know. But if you want more Monster Hunter content, watch this video right here. By the way, I did not encounter anything that's paranormal. What was that?